Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record and um, we've been talking some lights, and uh, I talked to you about the DMX systems and the pretty standard uh, uh, stuff that's out there. But there is a new wave of equipment that I want you to know about. Um, this is actually pretty amazing. There's some pretty neat things about it. It's expensive, but um, in the long run, it's cheaper. Um, so you have to kind of look at it. Unfortunately, us musicians are always looking for the cheapest way out right now. We don't think about the long run, but this, this anyway, is, is one that's important to think about. There is a new generation of lights that's come out uh, over the last few years that is uh, um, LED. And uh, LEDs have uh, some interesting properties about them. One is uh, they don't use hardly any power whatsoever. Um, let's see if I can explain this. Uh, you, lighting is probably the most power intensive uh, issue that you've got to worry about when you're putting on a big show. And uh, the other thing about standard lighting is it's very hot. It will uh, roast you at 25 feet pretty easily when you've got a bunch of uh, 500 watt cans staring at you, like maybe 11 or 12 of them. Um, the problem also, getting 11 or 12 of them to run and create the, uh, the lighting effects that you want for a wash on a stage or something like that, is, uh, you know, it's going to blow a circuit quite often. And I've done it more than once. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's rather embarrassing when half your lights go out because, uh, you know, a 20 amp circuit couldn't handle, you know, five par cans. So um, the fact is that uh, these little uh, uh, LED uh, units um, draw very, very little power. Maybe it's, it's a good chance they draw far less than your sound does, and your sound doesn't draw that much power in the first place. So that's pretty cool. Um, they've built them into the same, you know, par cans that are about this big around or so, and, uh, you know, maybe a foot and a half, two feet long or whatever. Two feet would be too long, maybe a foot and a half long. Um, and uh, put this array of lights inside the par can that not only are cool and consume less power, but they can do white lighting and instantly change to red or blue or green or some variation. And uh, that's pretty slick. Uh, the other systems that do that are far, far more expensive than the, uh, the LED configurations. So, um, one to think, thing to think about is getting those. The downside is one can, one par can, is going to cost you up to 250 bucks, and uh, that's pretty pricey, obviously. Another plus side, they last for like 10,000 hours. You're probably not going to perform 10,000 hours in your lifetime. I mean, you might, it's, it's a possibility, but I guess what I'm saying is that it's going to go for many, many, be uh, before you uh, you hit the the lifespan of those lights, and um, they are, to my knowledge, controlled also by DMX. They take, like I say, a whole lot less power, so you can probably daisy chain the power. Uh, haven't had a chance to have all that much experience with them, but I am itching to get my hands on them. And um, I suppose um, uh, you know one more advantage of them is you don't have to slide uh, those uh, thin colored. Uh, uh, cellophane panels that they call gels. You don't have to put those in a frame and slide them into them because they're going to, you know, you're going to be able to control the, the color on them uh, by yourself uh, you know, from the, the controller board. Um, probably requires a different controller board than what you've been using. It uses the same uh, concept of running the control, control through a microphone style cable and controls it digitally by a digital signal through that wire. But, um, you know, it's um, um, it's well worth it. I think the setup should be shorter, shorter. and uh, the sheer drop in temperature is going to be a huge advantage for your performers. I am Ryan Michael Galloway, and we don't need no stinking record company.com.